everyone with Eddie Olchek. Ray Ferraro coming up by Mike Emmerich. It's as simple as the math. Two games to nothing. And you're coming into this arena and you're ahead to nothing. Is there pressure? Well, there's pressure because you don't want to give the home team any life. You don't want to give them any belief that they can get back in this series. And I'm a believer. If I'm the road team and I'm up to nothing, is that I can win this series here is if I can find a way to win game three. Calgary's in the driver's seat, but they know it's going to be a hostile environment here in game three. They know the home crowd is going to be into it. One way to take them out of it, slow the game down. Don't allow the fans or the home team to be energized early in this game. And now we turn to the last lines of defense, the goalies. Steve Mason is in the crease tonight, and not even a decade ago was a junior hockey player in London, Ontario, winning 45 games, plus nine in the playoffs en route to the Memorial Cup, Canadian junior hockey's top prize. In goal is Bobby Lou, one of Roberto Luongo's nicknames. Born in Montreal, a three-time Olympian, the last two times he finished the tournament with a gold medal. Chara's a starter here. That means he is expected to set the tempo. We'll hear from Ray Ferraro shortly. Eddie Olchek alongside me, Mike Emmerich. This playoff game is underway. Oh, what a play. Give that goalie credit for another. Wonderful save. What skill by both goalie and shooter. A missed opportunity from this close in. Right into the slot. Pass attempt to Goudreau. Uh, they score! And one goes up on the board for the visitors. You get this close to the goaltender, the puck on your stick, you gotta snap it quick. Goodrow's displayed some sweet hands. That's a soft dish right on the tape. Flames have broken the tie. Perhaps they can build on this lead here in the first period. Just under three minutes off the clock. Calgary's got the lead, 1-0. Good save there. Score! Goalie made the initial stop with those quick hands, speed him on the rebound. Mason's clearly at a disadvantage. He makes the first stop, but he doesn't recover in time to get to the rebound. Calgary's got another face-off win. It's a three-on-two as they move in. Oh, what a great! That thing's labeled for the shelf. What a great glove stop there. Calgary's got it. Score! Three straight goals. Thankfully, that shot did not hit the goaltender because that thing was labeled. And so I got a good look at this one. He's in the butterfly. It looks from my position like he's got the entire net covered. Obviously, there's a little bit open. Calgary's collected another victory on the faceoff. Oh, great cut! Still has control and neutralize. Thrown in. Gathered in by Fane. Trying to go to Henrik Sedin. Pitching this one to Semen. Oh, here's a wrister. Grab. Oh, he thought he had him on the glove side. Centering pass. Let's it fly. Wonderful save with a pad. The Flames have control of the puck in the defensive zone. Keeps it going through the center zone. Looking to Henrik Sedin. And he motors on through the neutral zone. Possession taken up by Earhart. Karam pass to Sharp. The Flames in control of the puck through the neutral zone. And he dumps it in. Picked up in the attacking zone. 
Moving it to Hartnell. Moves up the wing. Pitching it to Felino. Right from the slot. Oh, what a glove he's got there. Great shooting position. A lightning light -like glove save. Mashed in. And possession snapped up by Marshan. Continuing on out of their own end. And gathered in by Campbell. Snapping a pass to Schultz. Directing that one to Campbell. The Flames with possession in center ice. Rister, score! Sidney Crosby. Crosby's quick flick of the wrist put this puck in from the high slot. Mason's not able to get the blocker up quick enough to deny this. It's a really good shot, but you think he'd be able to stop it. Just a bit under five minutes remaining in the period. Calgary's not done yet. They continue to build their lead on that recent goal. It's now four. Play to be made now. Outstanding save. What magic to even get the shot away. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. Got that in the trapper. The goalie gave him the glove side, and he took it away. What a stop. Dumped in. Mason's back behind his net and is able to stop it right there. Passing one off now to Opozo. And now it's directed to Neal. Moves up along the boards. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Pass comes to him from the crease. The Flames carry through center. It's dumped in. L.A.'s got some time left if things work perfectly. Puck is thrown to Neal. Could this be icing? And it will be based on the defense arriving first. The Flames are always an aggressive team. Tonight, their hitting is starting to pay off. They've slowed down their opposition, and they've been able to add numbers on the scoreboard. Calgary's got another win, and it's driven away. A brilliant save at the horn. First period has come to a close. There was offense, but only on one side. And we turn to the shots on goal in the first. Ten for Calgary, five for Los Angeles. L.A. suffering in net. Probably their whole team play needs to be re-examined during this intermission, but the goaltenders had a rough night. Here's an example as we go to break. Played second period about to start. A look ahead. The Kings are down in this game, Doc, and rightfully so. They did not manage the puck at all. If they want to get back in that game, they've got to eliminate those turnovers. Period number two is underway in a bit of a lopsided game. Pass attempt to Opozo. And he pushes it on through mid-ice. Muscled long to Neal. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Thrown in. Mason's out behind to stop it right there. Trying to go to Neal. And the puck taken over in the defensive zone by Keith. And a bomb to Neal. Great job on a cut pass. Pitching this one to Crosby. Simple play. Made well. Strong defense. Snapped up that right wing to Opozo. Taken back deep in his own end of the ice by Martin. Calgary's carrying on up the wing. Cranks a shot. Got the pad on that one. The puck is scooped up by Duncan Keith. Looks ahead to start something. Los Angeles in their own end has possession. Shot. Oh, great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. What a save by Luongo. He's got that centering pass. Looking for Yonker. Puck gathered in behind the net by Fane. Moving it to Henrik Sedin. The Kings continuing on through center ice. Oh, and here's a three on two. Outstanding play by the defense. 
Nice pass right up the gut. Steps, score! You want to score goals, you've got to get to this area of the ice. Sharp's able to clear open ice, and he lays a sweet saucer pass on the shooter's stick. Calgary is just continuing to hammer away on the shot board enormous, and the score is large. The Flames with a win at center. Oh, how can they miss that pass? And he shoots. Pitching it to Foligno. Let's it go. And a good save there. Great stick there. Loose puck brought in by Scott Hartman. On the candle. Thrown up the wing to Marshan. Still has control through center. Back in his defensive end to get him. The Kings control the play at center. Broken stick, rotten luck. Good work with the stick. And possession reestablished by Brian Campbell. And he dumps it in. Picks it up in his own end. Scrum over, puck kicked. Snapping a pass to Foligno. Out in front, save, but just barely. Directing that one to Aginla. Mashed in. That puck curled around behind the net, and it is stopped right there. Heads on to the corner. Taken on by Richards. Passing one off now to Miller. Fires clubbed. Calgary is carrying it in the defensive zone. Set out, and he'll make them chase it. And that is the end of the second period of this game. One more to go, and who knows, maybe more action beyond that. Shots on goal can be deceptive. You decide whether they are in this game or not. A lucky 13 for the Flames and nine for the Kings. Los Angeles has a lot to talk about during the intermission, and it shows on the scoreboard they've got troubles, and the goaltender has even more, as you see from this example. We'll return after these words. Third period about to begin. What did you think of the second? The Kings are down on the scoreboard, Doc, and they know they have a real hot goaltender at the other end. Pretty simple formula. More people, more pucks to the net. Eventually, you might get a bounce, and you'll be right back in this game. Third period is underway in a game that has outstanding point-blank save. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you've got to find a way to put the puck in the net. Perfect receipt of the pass. Wonderful stop by Luongo. It's a three on two. How will they defend this? And it's turned aside. Puck covered, whistle blown. Pretty routine stop. You can see why everybody learns the butterfly when they're a young kid. Takes away the bottom of the net. Quick work on the face off. Terrific pass, but a terrific hit. Picked up by Thornton. Shoots one. Kicked away. Ooh, a dangerous play made by the goaltender. But he's got it. And they've got a three on two here. Magnificent save. Now it's directed to Thornton. Not a long pass, but effective. He's got it. Breakaway chance. Oh, tremendous stop by Mason. A cover and play is stopped. The shooter thought he'd made a pretty good shot here, but the goaltender's in good shape. He makes the stop, and he's able to deny the shooter on what he thought was an excellent chance. They win it. Shooting! Score! Chara's quick flick of the wrist put this puck in from the high slot. Mason's beaten pretty cleanly with this. He just gets a small touch to the puck, but it goes into the back of the cage. Goalie to the bench, substitution made. The Kings coaching staff just debated a couple of seconds before they pulled their starter.
Murray's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. A face-off win. Let's see what develops. Laid on to Brazia. Say, enormous collision. Hartnell's understanding his role, Doc, with that big hit. He hasn't had many of those here tonight. That might change the momentum in this game. Score! puck support like that you got to move your feet move the puck move yourself and you're going to be rewarded with a goal Marchand's displayed some sweet hands that's a soft dish right on the tape Calgary's goal has taken them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going third period of play Number 62, Mike Ribeiro. turned aside and picked up now by Marchand Score! Hutchison's presenting himself pretty largely here. However, there's still room for the puck to beat him. Calgary's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. Neutralized faceoff win. Tip by the stick. That's just good fundamental defense. Great work with the pad. Puck is thrown to Opozo. Pass attempt to Goudreau. And the linesmen were watching very carefully. That is an offside. Hutchinson's athleticism and net was really put to test on that last quality opportunity. I still have no idea how he stopped that, Doc. Calgary's got another face-off win. The Flames through the neutral zone have possession. Dumped in. Corralled by Marion Gabrick. Park outstanding save with a glove. That was all positioning right into his glove. The Kings in their own end in possession. Looks ahead to start something. And angled to Opozo. The stick broke on the shot. Slid to Campbell. To Gabrick. Trying to go to Crosby. In the, he scores! Second of the game! What a performance! Whoa, it looks like his trapper's got a hole in it there, Edzo. He gets beat low to the glove side. Calgary's goal has taken them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. The Flames want to generate something up the wing. Steps right behind the net and takes over. Pitching this one to Henrik Sedin. He's right in front. Score! He's got his second. People always zero in on the puck, but if you're going to have great puck support, you better have the guys without it that go to the open ice. A lot of times the goaltender feels like his positioning is perfect and he's got the net covered. Guess what? He doesn't. Calgary's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. Glove! What a glove save. He showed him the glove and he took it away. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. Good face-off win. Ooh, what a break. Shot hit the man. One-timer. Oh, a great reaction there as that one was tipped on goal. Uh, there's no question. That puck was deflected and a good stop. Looking to Foligno. What a terrific opportunity. Oh, stick save. Pointed to Keith. The Flames carrying on in the defensive zone. Carried toward the woodwork by Sharp. 
It's dumped in. Puck gotten behind the net by Key. In his own end, and he'll continue. Gathered in by Gardner. Moving it to Hartnell. Last minute to go in the third. Trying to get something generated up the wing. Good centering pass to the slot. Outstanding glove save. And it is icing. And the linesmen earn their pay as well. Luongo's athleticism is on display. That's an odd man rush against an excellent save. Henrik Sedin's just like his team, losing. Pitching it to Sharp. Chip to Thornton. Steps, but wonderful save. It didn't look like he had a thing to shoot at. The goalie makes himself look big. Snapping a pass to Thornton. Thrown in. He's got it in deep. Heads on behind. He scores! And that's the hat trick. There won't be many on the ice, if any. But he's got three goals. The goaltender had no chance stopping that puck with the quick release. Enzo, just because you're in the butterfly doesn't mean you can give in to the shooter. You still have to move. He looked like he thought he was in perfect shape to make the stop and didn't have to move. Bad guess. Face-off win, and now what will they do with him? Shift to the backhand and shoots. Those big pillows on his legs came in handy then. And here again is Ray. Uh, he's been terrific, just like you pointed out in the opening a couple hours ago, where we expected him to be a player that makes an impact on the game. He's had a great night. Here's a look at it. He has been spectacular, Ray. The Flames win the draw. Right into the slot. Oh, what a terrific save in close. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. The Flames win that faceoff. Oh, that one hit someone on the way. And he missed the net. Oh, that puck slowed up and just missed the side of the net. Game over. I know what that's like, Doc, being on the end of some bad games, some bad efforts. I'm not looking forward to practice tomorrow. Continue with our next game. We hope you'll look forward to that one as much as we are. Meanwhile, for this one tonight, for Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night.